morning, just coming up to 20 past nine, with us on the line now from the UK is Mark Wilkinson. He's a health and happiness coach whose refreshing and deeply personal self-development book, Life Remixed, is now out. It tells his story of how his hedonistic lifestyle as an international DJ, including a residency at London Superclub Ministry of Sound, was turned upside down when at the age of 33, he collapsed in pain and was then unable to walk for 18 months. At rock bottom, Mark made a decision to remix his life after discovering the 2006 film The Secret. Mark aims to prove it's never too late to be happy and healthy. Welcome to the show, Mark. Hi, Hannah. Thanks for having me on. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. I bet it was, I bet it was great for you writing this book and kind of remembering your journey and, and, and getting to where you are now, was it? Yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. Uh, it was also a... Um... Uh, a, a really great experience to actually just put it all out onto paper and it's made me realise that I've probably got a few more books lined up in me as well. <laughs> oh, brilliant, brilliant. I mean, it sounds like you've been through a, an awful lot. Tell us what happened then. Do you know why you collapsed? I mean, what, what was the issue there? Well, at the time, it was a physical collapse. So it wasn't unconscious. Uh, and I just, I was walking through my flat and one day my leg just gave way and uh, everything went everywhere that I was carrying. Uh, my brother was there and uh, I think he started laughing to begin with, but then oh. I was like, I can't get up. I can't get up then. And, uh, and he was like, right, okay, well, <laughs> and he got me, he helped me up onto the sofa. And that was the start of something for the next uh, 18 months. I just disintegrated into, into nothing. I could barely move. Um, my body just froze up and uh, it led to a lot of suicidal thoughts and real sort of, you know, depression and disease. And, and it, was, it was a really dark time. And I'm, at the time, I had no idea what was happening. And, and were you diagnosed with something then? Did you find out what the cause of it was? No, it took 18 months. It took 18 months. I went to see oh. numerous doctors and nobody could tell me what it was. Uh, and it was the most painful time. I was hammering painkillers just to try and survive. Some few of my DJ gigs I could still do. I used to sit on a stool and, and play a few oh. tunes. And, and it, was, it was just, you know, people were looking at me as if to say, you know, actually friends came up to me and were like, are you all right, mate? because this is not good. Um, and then finally I went to see a GP. We moved to a new place. I went to a new place in Clerkenwell in London. I signed up with a new GP. I, walked, I shuffled in <laughs> to see her. And she said, um, oh my God, she said, I'm surprised you've lasted this long. Uh, she got me a six week emergency appointment to see a rheumatologist. And from there, it was diagnosed finally as ankylosing spondylitis. Wow. Wow, incredible. So how have you, so before we talk about the, the, the mental side of things um, and, and the psychology part of it, how, how have you recovered physically? What, what, what happened since that diagnosis? Well, of course, everything's in life remixed. Um, I mean, uh, on a physical level, I am no longer stressed in my life. Uh, and the stress, I believe that the stress has a huge amount, I'd say probably 80% impact on, on the disease in my body. Uh, and uh, uh, But now I find myself at ease, completely at ease, having written this book and also followed some fantastic strategies. Uh, I've got myself to a very good position in life and I just, I just enjoy every minute of it now. And, and so there's, I'm at ease, so there's no disease. Yeah, wonderful. And and your physicality, are, are you able to walk properly now and you're, you're okay with that? Yeah, absolutely. I actually recovered enough to run four marathons <gasps> uh, at one point in my life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, I wasn't messing about. I mean, the idea, you know, it came to me once I detoxified my life, uh, which I, I, I put through the book, obviously, the story is there. Uh, I detoxified my life enough to be able to go from unable to walk in this horrible state to be able to run four marathons. I did three in London and one in Berlin. Um, and it was the most joyous moment of my life crossing the first finish line particularly because it just meant that actually everything I was learning could could actually you know, be true and I could actually change and remix my entire life and that's what's happened ever since. Yeah, wonderful. So I mentioned that the secret in, in the introduction and um, many people will have heard of the secret, there may be people who haven't. So just explain what, what the secret is and, and how it changed your life. Well, it's a film that I was given on a DVD back in the day, back in 2006. It's also a book, an audio book. It's Rhonda Byrne's book, The Secret, and it's a phenomenal uh, piece of work about the law of attraction and it's a number of teachers from all around the world who don't know each other but are all speaking the same language with the same uh, you know, outcomes and um, there was one particular guy on there called Bob Proctor who for some reason just some of the things he said just reached out to me at that moment in time there's a great phrase that when the student is ready the teacher will come 
and I was ready to hear it. Um, and when he said a disease cannot live in a body if your mind is at ease, that was a game changer for me because a doctor had just told me I had an incurable disease. And then he's saying about this hyphenate, you must hyphenate this ease with, you know, into two words. And that, was, that started to wake me up and I started to look around for more information. And ever since then, it's just been a journey of growth. And I'm really proud and happy and grateful to say that Bob Proctor has actually, 15 years later, has now just endorsed, endorsed Life Remixed, which is oh, mind-blowing and wonderful. <laughs> incredible. That's brilliant. Brilliant. So uh, for, for people who hadn't heard this concept before, I explain the, the, the law of attraction and, and how it works, because it sounds such a, a wonderfully, almost easy concept. I think it's, it is an easy concept, but many people find it difficult to kind of execute it, if you like, and make it happen. And it only happened for me. I only changed things around when I was at rock bottom. And the purpose of Life Remixed is that other people don't have to go to rock bottom to be able to find this mm. stuff out. Um, so for me, it, it's about the law of attraction. It's what we think about, is what we bring about. And it's not just about thinking, though. Your thoughts program your feelings. Your feelings then program your actions. So it's about getting your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions all in line so that every minute of the day you are doing something creative and positive. There is a universal law that says create or disintegrate. And we human beings have been gifted the choice to create or disintegrate. And, and from my perspective, the fear took over for many years and I ended up collapsing with a disease and then bankruptcy off the back of that as well. So those were tough times, but then I chose to make, well, make, make, make a choice and become more creative and then actually create a life that I can be happy with, which I have now. Mm. And do you suffer with, with chronic pain? Uh, I did, I don't anymore. Really? That's amazing. Mm. That is amazing, isn't it? Because, I mean, for, for, for people who are, are suffering with, with various different things going on, you know, I'm sure there'll be people who have, who have tried different, different things like this, you know, that the secret or, or positive thinking or, or meditation, all kind of things like that, and, and maybe had, had trouble with it, you know, had issues with it. What are there kind of, are there kind of things that people should be doing differently or, or surely there must be people that are, are that are suffering that that maybe th this couldn't help with do you know what i mean well i would say i would say it's the result of long and patient effort yeah um you know it's not going to happen in 30 seconds um <clears throat> the other thing that i think that people struggle with around the secret they so uh, this stuff doesn't work you know because they've they've tried it for like you know six months or something mm. there's another part to it there's a universal law that says force negates and if you try and force something, anything, so if you're trying to force yourself to positive, be a positive thinker, I'm mm. a positive thinker, I'll force myself to do it, it it's not going to work. You know, it ends up being a negative. So you've got to just, I get into a lot of things in the book uh, around love. And for me, love, the definition of love is total acceptance. When I get into this kind of thing and I get to a really like beautiful place in my life and then I just go out into the world and put out good energy, then that's what comes back to me. So it's, it's long and patient effort, I would say. Yeah, and, and I bet your, your friends and family must have noticed a, a big change in you, have they? Not just physically, I mean mentally. Everything, <laughs> yeah. I'm like a different person, but the, the point is, is I, I was doing my best when I was younger. But yeah, I think one of the things we have to understand is every single person is doing the best they can with the knowledge they have at this moment. Mm. And when you look at it like that, you can actually then get yourself into a nicer place about the world in general. And so I was doing my best, I thought I, I thought I knew it all, of course, um, and I knew nothing. And, uh, and uh, it took a physical collapse and bankruptcy to uh, wise me up. <laughs> yeah. And, and are there particular things that you kind of practice every day in terms of, of self-help and the secret? Do you have like routines of things that you go through? Well, one of the things I did, I, was, I, I basically did a lot around money to recover from the bankruptcy. So I said I was going to earn a large amount of money per day and I achieved that. And I was like, right, okay, that's that goal achieved. But I took, my, I took the, off, the ball with my health again. I had a, I had a second flare-up um, in my 40s. I've just turned 50 now. And um, I learned a lot from that because, it, you know, I don't drink alcohol anymore. I completely detoxified my, my life and got myself to a good place. But I needed to do some extra goal setting to be able to look, become financially free and leave that corporate job. Um, and so I, I do, I sat down, I sat down and I wrote out the perfect day. And so I've got my perfect day, I know exactly what it looks and feels like. And I sat there, even when I was in a corporate job and quite deeply unhappy and with bad, bad uh, flare ups again. Uh, I sat there and I was like, right, okay, let's think about the perfect day. And it's get up in the morning, drink some water, exercise, live my purpose throughout the day 
chill out in the evening with my wife and get a really good night's sleep. And that's the perfect day for me. And as long as I live that now, which I do for the last two to three years since leaving the corporate job, um, I'm, I'm happy, healthy and wealthy. Yeah, fantastic. Well, it's, it's, it's very inspirational hearing your <laughs> story and I'm sure people get a lot more from, from reading the book as well. It's called Life Remixed. It's available on our website, tre.radio, in the bookshop section and it's by Mark Wilkinson, who we've been chatting to. Mark, do you miss the, the DJing, the, the music days? Um, I would say that the uh, the buzz of actually standing in front of a thousand people and playing records and everyone j jumping up and celebrating is almost irreplaceable. <laughs> However, do I miss it? No. Because what I've done, I've realised that my purpose for doing the DJing at the time was to bring joy to other people and that was the bit that I loved. And now I live my purpose in a different way. So I bring joy to people 17 hours a day that I'm awake. So, you know, I make sure that we've got a happy relationship. I make sure my clients are happy. I make sure that my friends are happy. I do a DJ mix online every Saturday night from 8 to 10 p.m. on my Mark Wilkinson official mix cloud. Uh, you know, I, I still bring the joy. I just do it in lots of different ways now. Yeah. It's great, isn't it, when you can look back at your past and just kind of go, oh, they were great times, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. But you're okay that it's your past because you've changed and you're doing something different now. Even the, the hardest thing to actually get your peace with like that is actually the, the things that you would see as bad, like the disease and the bankruptcy. But they are actually two of the best things that have happened to me. Hmm. Wow, that's amazing to be able to look at it like that. They were. They really were. They were game changers. And they, <clears throat> they changed the course of my life from being, you know, anxious and doubtful and fearful and worried and addicted and all this kind of stuff that, that I had documented in the first few chapters of the book. Changed everything to be, you know, unhappy, sick and broke to happy, healthy and wealthy. And it's not an accident, Anna. It's, it's something that I've studied. And the more I study it, the more I realise that it's a process and there's things to follow. And I've put it all into Life Remix and I'm really hopeful that it's going to help a lot of people. Yeah. It must be a great feeling to, you know, having helped yourself in this way, to then be able to go on and, and help other people and change other people's lives. It's wonderful. And it's also... Um, you know, the book, the book is going to reach much farther than just, just me. You know, we're publishing in Canada and the States and Marcy Shymoff and Bob Proctor have endorsed it, as I've mentioned. Uh, you know, but we've got reach around the world and it's just incredible that, that so many people are, are, are connecting with it. At the moment, it's available for pre-order. It's actually full release on the 23rd of February, which we're really excited about. Um, and, uh, yeah, just being able to bring that joy and share that joy with other people is something that makes me feel great and... Um, you know, I have a lot of coaching clients and they, they, it radiates to them as well and they enjoy it. Yeah, brilliant. Well, if people want to get a copy of the book, it's called Life Remixed and uh, will be available towards the end of this month and uh, people can pre-order it now, as you say, on Amazon. Thank you, Anna. Mark Wilkinson, thank you so much for joining us. Really lovely to chat with you. Likewise. Thanks for having me on, Anna. Clear, concise, current reporting throughout the day. TRE, your voice in Spain.